the top receivers in this Texas team standing in his end zone. And he's gonna get bring it out. And looked like he tried to fake the ball across there. No one on the Georgia coverage team fooled. It's the first game. Leadership and experience is big. And of course, Jalen Walker, number 11. And ball better in the air. Golden goes up, makes the catch on the carom. And he's going to be dropped down. Getting a hand on it was that man, Michael Williams. It was shot by Michael Williams. And this ball came out, you know, after he started to take off. Watch him run with it. And then it comes out, and Quinn Ewers jumps on top of that football. Heck of a job by 13 once again being a factor early in this game. Ewers has protection, short throw, completion. Off and running is DeAndre Moore. Blazing speed. They don't just convert. They get out across or near the 40. First down throw. Texas comes out pitching it. And that's Matthew Golden breaking free and from backed up on third down. They're now third and nine this time. Yours. Well protected. A long throw off the tip. It's intercepted. There's a flag down. But Dalen Everett, who had a couple of takeaways in the game in Austin. But this will hold up. Cameron Williams, the right tackle. 56. Illegal motion. Oh. Offense number seven. Henry's the fly. Throw in the perimeter, and middle screen cutting back is Arian Smith, who's right near the mark. And so far, Ewers came out throwing in that opening sequence, got up to a fast start before the interception. Now they hand it off inside. The dogs are all over it, and Weiser's going to be dropped for a loss. Again, last time was the battle at the line of scrimmage favoring Georgia. See if they come after Ewers on third and 13. He launches from the goal line, going downfield to Golden. Golden. Snuck behind Malachi Stark. You'll, you'll see after they motion out, he gets a little bit caught. C24, he needs to be able to help out on that put on that play much sooner than he won that was a, unable to. A little bit late, but it would have been helpful if Harris got his hands on a receiver. In the 50-yard gain behind the six on second down. Ewers over the middle and wide open is Isaiah Bond. Field goal attempts. This year than last. Kicked a bunch last year. This year, a lot of extra points. And straight down the middle. So, ETN in the pistol. He's got it again, and they swarm him. He bounces off contact, but will lose more yardage. Brand it's going to shake out. I'm looking forward to watching and seeing it tomorrow. And off Weisner running hard, running aggressively. That's what he's done down the stretch. He, got he sure has earned his opportunity. He fake it to him. Yours off the blind side. That was the problem before in this first meeting. And Chaz Chambliss got him. Three seconds of the quarter. Texas facing a third and 14. Pressure comes. Yours on the move. Clips it downfield. Go! up and making the catch is golden his second huge play again he beat daniel harris yep. second and 20 yours pitches it short blue is going to be dropped for a loss they're going the wrong way auburn this from a yard longer than his 41 yard make earlier and this one straight and true second and two Frazier, they fake it to him, back, sprints out, clips it short, catch made by Oscar Delp. The tight ends heavily involved, another first down gain. Best Georgia drive so far from 44 yards, and the kickers doing their job tonight, but the drop by Smith really kind of doomed the drive. And the slant, catch made. Silas Bolden running free, the former Oregon State Beaver, Shoved out of bounds and a flag comes in. So the game to the 45, 15 more moving into Georgia territory. What itch when you get in here because of what's coming after, after you the catch play. it. Look who he bounces Personal off foul. of. Unnecessary roughness. Number two defense. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. You know, that's Caught out of bounds for a first down, but through his hands. Two back look, blue motioning out. And yours down the middle and catch. 
clutching it and taking a huge shot. Jackson delivered the blow, but Silas bowled in another big play. We just said that Dan Jackson's one of the more ferocious hitters in the SEC, and this is what we're talking about. And Chris talked about the size. He's 160 pounds taking that hit. He knows it's coming, too. Brace yourself, and then to hold on to the football. Well. So now from 42. Auburn hooked it and missed it. And Texas comes up empty. So the five yard penalty was motion. And Ewers back pedals, checks it down. There's the first target and catch for Gunnar Helm. Top receiver on this team and catches and in yards. Anxiety is it nerves with receivers and all these drops. He's trying to figure that himself. But, you know. Etienne on the edge will get a first down down to 20 seconds. Gonna get, get a free play here back. Pump fake. Now a downfield shot. Looking for Evans and he threw a pick. This will come back. There's another flag down in the secondary. Makuba came up with the football. He takes a huge shot as he gets in the paint and the tech. Another free play. Texas jumped offside again. Another interception is going to come back. This is Anthony Hill who made the grab, but Texas just not holding their water, as they say. And heave it down there. Back. Can he step up and even launch? Chase from behind. Ball not free. It's bobbled around, scooped up. The horns on the final play of the half. Trying to make something happen. Anthony Hill laterals it. They're still going. And now they lateral back to a bulldog in a wild, frantic play. Most entertaining moment of the first half, frankly. That got hit. And he's down. Hard. Yeah. Damn, they need two to get this drive going. Looking to throw for it. Stockton from the pocket delivers a strike, and it's a completion to Arian Smith. Who had problems dropping the ball in the first half. Grab we need time on the play clock. They fake it to Frazier. Stockton back pedals. Pressure. He can run. He's got space. And he's going to make the first down with his legs. Takes a shot at the 37. And the Bulldog bench all fired up. Eyes out of you. Stockton on the move again. And now they close him down. And he delivers a high throw. And the catch is made. Lawson Lucky went up. They're talking about it. It is ruled a catch on the sidelines. Great ball by the kid on the run. Did he get the toe down? Oh my gosh, what a play. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what a play by Lucky. DTN will line up far to the left of the formation. Texas rushes four. They're trying to spy quarterback. They know Stockton. He's a quick runner, as Holly pointed out, but he gets loose for nine. Use him as a as shield if you can, but positive yards. Second and one. ETN makes a cut. ETN barrels into the end zone. Georgia's got the lead behind the backup quarterback. I was never been anything like this situation and Georgia for the first time today on top of Texas 10-6 is behind in this football game by four yours long throw right back to his favorite target tonight Matthew Golden this right end of the field they show pressure they bring it all out blitz the ball's a loose rolling toward the sidelines it'll go out of bounds First and ten got him behind the sticks that really allowed them to dial up that pressure. Thorson. And Bolden tries to get to the edge. Silas Bolden off and running the speedster, making big impact plays as a receiver and now as a returner. Jalen Walker is standing up. He's coming and they got him. It's sacked by Damon Wilson. Walker was very disruptive early, but was making him from this distance in pregame warm-up. This from 51 yards. He's two out of three so far. Drives it, and this one hooked again. So he's missed two wide left. Georgia all this season. ETN off the right side. Trevor ETN is a crease. Breaking tackles. It's a race down the sidelines. They finally angle him out inside the 20. Welcome back, Trevor Etienne.
even get involved in support. They're locked in, thinking it's going to be a quick throw out there. And then you, it is so tough, even for a veteran like Thor Makubu, to make that play in space against ETN. What? From 24 to give Georgia a seven-point lead. Final seconds of the third quarter. No problem for the reliable kicker. How can you maximize him? Mike's doing a great job with him. Kid's got a lot of confidence. He's played in a lot of big games. Um, he's not afraid of the moment. I think he's done a good job. He's a good change of pace for us. Thank you, Coach. Thank the recovery that was huge in that game. Now it's third and three. Throw for wide open. Is Moore in a slant still running? DeAndre Moore wins the foot race. Texas strikes back from 41 yards. Momentum. And he steps up. Good hesitation. Secondary fool thinking it might be one of the quick throws like a, a look pass to the outside instead they get him on that RPO Stockton and they're all over Dominic Love and he caught it behind the line and Jalen Gilbo says you're staying right there The big pressure situation is Charlie Ham Taking over for the injury. It's a fake. It's a fake. And Smith's got it on the end around. And he's got a first down. Tie game, fourth quarter, SEC championship. And Kirby Smart rolls the dice. And this time, the fake punt works. No pressure. Check down. Too much space for ETN. He's going to get just enough full goal range for Woodring. Reverse. Evans. Lost the ball. Fell on it. Got very, very lucky to avoid. Picked up five. Second down run for Frazier. Frazier to the corner. Barrels out inside the 20. Dogs threatening. Punch it in in the red zone. Frazier's got a crease. Barrels down inside the five. The ball came out. Woodring, the chip shot to give Georgia the lead back. Ooh, pounds it right through. And 4.32 to play. Can Texas win the SEC in year one? Yeah. Sark talked about being patient with that run game. At this point, I think it's going to come down to Ewers' ability to make throws. Got to get protection, and he's going to be sacked. A slow developing play, and Michael Williams closed him down. Pressure again. Sideline pitch intercepted. He threw it to Dalen Everett, who had huge plays in the Dogs' first win. And Georgia up three, gets the football back. Well, how fitting is that? They've been trying to pick on these corners, mainly Daniel Harris. That's gone away. But here, late in this game, they've got to be able to come up with another play. Late clock at three. Texas brings pressure. Stockton back paddling. Throws it. And throw it right to Texas. Intercepted by Jade Barron. Oh, the young fella under pressure made a mistake. And Texas is set up now. Four. Two timeouts plus the two-minute timeout. Ewers flips short. Wisner has blockers and hammers forward for a first down at the 45. Picked up 11. Three. Ewers flips it across the middle. Catch made by DeAndre Moore. Got to get two plays. Got two plays to get them. Pressure comes. Ball rejected, and that was knocked down by C.J. Allen on the blitz. Ewers, catch made by Moore. Nice route, came in, cut out, and that ball was on the money. First down. He showed that and then went the other direction. Beautiful timing. Now in a slant, Moore makes this catch, and all of a sudden, Texas cooking at the 35, nine more yards. That, that has really been his targets tonight so far. Wisner running left, makes a cut. Yeah, it's enough for a first down inside the 30. Locks go away from it, but you want your quarterback, he's got to be smart. 
That's Matthew Golden went in motion. He goes deep. Ewers and set lobs it to the left for Wingo. And out comes a flag. Interference in the end zone as Dalen Everett, who's had some big plays tonight, flag that time. Yeah, right on cue. We're just sitting here talking about are you conservative? Are you aggressive? Go after Passing the corners. The He's been doing it all six. game. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. On fake. Yours will be sacked. And now Sarkeesian will have to spend a time out taking a sack there. This match Second up, down play. Matchup way at the top. Golden has had a huge game. Yours goes to the left, rising up and trying to make a diving catch as Wingo from 37 in a deadlock. No problem, Ooh. Auburn. Looks like a guy who believes in himself and pressure kicks. That eight overtime game, not only that, think of their schedule that they played. 13th game of these two teams. Bart Stockton. The pressure games. Keeper Manning shows the strength. He's, he's not just a fast guy. He's got more motions over to the left slot. Ewers on the slant. Caught first down inside the 15. And now the tight end motions across right there as well. Ewers look in that direction. And checks it down. Catch made and cannot escape. Tackle made in space beautifully by K.J. Bolden. Reliable pedigree and the interesting hair. Right back out there from 32. And that time knocks it through. Not quite as confident a swing as it was to force overtime. Difference here for Georgia. And he's got the, oh, they fake it to him. And they throw it in the flat. Oscar Delp slips a tackle. And that's... A missed opportunity to get it behind the line there. Second and one. Stockton. And they're going to lose yardage on that catch. Love it. I'm running it down. Mike Bobo with a play call here. They need three. Two backs in the backfield. They fake it to ETN. Ball flips short. And the tight end, Oscar Dell powers for a first down. First down run to ETN. ETN, ooh, tried to shake free of the tackle of Makuba who grabbed him by. Down. Dogs 12 yards away from the win. Stockton running all the way up the middle. Gunner Stockton knocked in the head by Makuba. Helmet goes flying. Thankfully, he's up on his feet. Flag goes flying as well. Four comes in, lowers that shoulder. You do not often see a helmet like eject oh. off the top of the head like that. After it's further review, helmet. there is no foul for targeting. The ball carrier did make the line to gain. It'll be first and goal at the four-yard line. Etienne in the I formation. They hand it to him. Touchdown, Georgia SEC champions! As every dog digs really deep. Winning touchdown sport by a guy that hadn't played the last three games. Was questionable coming into this game. ETN has the final word, and Georgia wins it 22 to 19. Let, let's not forget to talk. That all, ETN gets the touchdown, but that offensive line in that overtime period really showed a lot of guts and a lot of determination. Coming off an eight-overtime game.